Hey guys, we're down here in the Florida Keys today and we're going for yellowtail on these next couple of trips. Last year we did a lot of yellowtail fishing and we learned a lot of cool stuff. So we wanted to take what we learned from last year, implement it this year and have an even better time catching yellowtail. We go out there, uh, head out, you know, first day down there. I go grab some sand to mix in with my chum. So we get a good little mix of oats chum and sand all in my bucket so it's looking good we get to the spot and unfortunately the current is kicking it i mean it's just blasting by uh, i think it's because the gulf stream was in really close so the gulf stream you know combined with the the current um and just the other conditions coming into play that that current was kicking it and you could see our chum just blasting like straight back I don't know, it was probably be like a mile before it got to the bottom. Yeah, you know, it I don't know exactly a mile, but it wasn't getting to the fish. No fish were coming up. And it's normally a good area. It's funny, we even tried diving it later in the week, and that current was ridiculous. I mean, with my scuba gear at the top, I couldn't swim against it. You know, on the bottom it's not so bad. You know, we went down the anchor line, but coming up on the anchor line on the safety stop, I actually turned to look to the side and about like ripped my mask off. So what do you do when the current's that bad? Well, if you go in shallower, the current's usually not so bad. And that's what we did. We went from about 85, 90 feet, and we tried 50 feet. Some other spots I had on my record. Dang, it really was a ways back there. Oh, there we go. And I don't know, maybe something about that 50 foot water being in shallower, you see more diversity. Uh, we ended up catching some houndfish or giant needle nose. We caught a uh, syrup mackerel. My dad had a nice syrup mackerel on. See him? You got a net? Look at that. Grab the net right there, right there. Where are you going? Move the crap out of my way. Coming up. Was that going? That's the only way that fish came up because of that one. Yeah. It's a wonder all those runs you didn't hear. I would drop a, a kind of a yellowtail setup, but I put a weight on it. <clears throat> kind of just a quick thing I would do is I'd just make a loop in the line, slide it through a bank sinker. Nothing fancy, you can quickly put it on and off. And I would drop it down. I guess all the, all the baby ones are down deep. Wow. Last year dropping it down helped catch mangroves. And when we dove this spot, we actually saw mangroves and shot some so they were down there oftentimes i would also catch grunts and stuff like that and i didn't do as good as the mangrove out there as then when i did it in the deeper water last year but we still caught a few and it's still good to vary where you put your line at in the water column just to see what's down there you might look out and get a you know mutton kubera or a grouper give yourself plenty of options and opportunities to catch good fish they're like way back there so the next day we're out there and we put our chum out good recipe and it's working we actually have fish coming up um not as quick as as you would think you know, that's kind of one of the things with with these trips is the fish didn't come up immediately typically I've had trips where they do it before, but a lot of times it took 20, 30 minutes or so 
for the fish to actually come up. You know, it makes you sit there and you doubt yourself and you're like, there just aren't any fish here, let's move. But, you know, we were patient and then all of a sudden you would see those yellowtail. They'd kind of come up to the boat and then they'd kind of disappear and then they'd come back. It's kind of bouncing back and forth, I guess. And I have There we go. That's a big one. We've been waiting a while to get these guys chummed up. That's a fat one too. Here, take yours. There we go. Is it now? Is it now? Yep. They all came for size. Well, no. that's far. Gotcha. Gotcha. Hi, oh, yeah, right it's a gap. What's that? These number eight Gimax, Gimakatsu hooks, whatever. Struggled with that in the last video, trying to say that name. Anyways, we're using these number eight hooks, and we actually used some number eight mustad hooks on some of our other trips because at one point, you know, we ran out of those and like, oh, let's grab some other. We grab the others thinking they'd be the same, and they're not. A Mustad number eight hook is much smaller and you know, there's so many different styles too, but the style of Mustad we got, which I'll put in the description, it was just really small and we had a terrible hookup ratio with that. The Gimakatsu number eight, it's like an octopus kind of circle hook, that did much better. We like that one. Um, I use a lot of Mustad hooks for other things, but those hooks for Yellowtail did not work for me, so I'm going to stick with the Gimakatsu hooks. We had some difficulty with our uh, bait when we were yellowtail fishing, staying on the hook. Sometimes that stuff gets real mushy and, must, you know, just not brine good. It tends to want to come off. So, it's like mush. Sometimes you might want to take, you know, like a, some little bait fish you catch and cut them up while they're fresh so the hook will stay in better. You know, maybe some good cut bait or something like that. Or if you have live bait, live bait's a good option too. We gotta use that on some of our fish. And generally, you know, live bait will get eaten pretty quick. One of the days, you know, that last day, we were, you know, really catching some some better fish on live bait. And we were also getting mangroves and uh, some yellowtail. Mangroves seem to be a little deeper. But that live bait helps. Overall, the trips were a lot of fun. We caught some good yellowtail and we had fun and we learned more stuff. We learned new areas. You know, we were forced to go to new areas and we actually found some really nice looking spots. So, you know, what seems like a bad thing at first can sometimes lead to uh, new areas and learning new stuff. So don't let it get you down. Thanks for watching the video. We got more videos to come. Subscribe for more updates. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and you can even subscribe on our website and find cool stuff. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.